It was a lovely day on the island of Sora. Lexi had been called to the steamworks. His garden was getting repaired. The fat controller had told Lexi to pick the express up and to take it. Oh, thank you so much, said Lexi. Sorry for your accident, Gordon. Hope you get well soon. Yes, do something to me, said Gordon angrily. What was that? said Lexi. Um, nothing, said Gordon. It was true, though. Lexi was a bit of a scruffy engine. I mean, her paintwork was all chipped off. But, nonetheless, she was coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle and was ready to do a nice little trip. At this point, Edward was pulling trucks, meanwhile, which is why it was a lot of noise. But it was Island of Sodor. <laughs> Eventually, Lexi set off through the Natford station as the first passengers of the day. Sir Handel, meanwhile, was down, was down waiting at a crossing near the diesel works. Lexi puffed up next to him. Ah! Good morning, Sir Handel, on this bright, beautiful day. Don't ah, good, good morning, Lexi, said Sir Handel. Are you having a good day? Well, it wasn't until I had to pull the rest of the trucks. But after what happened last time, I shall not do that again. Yes, said Lexi. Yes, of course. It's nice to see you've learned from your mistakes, said Lexi, and she puffed away. True. Lexi was a decently new engine to the island, but... What Edward had in store for her wasn't what she wanted. Let's, Lexi eventually arrived in the and she had to go and make the stop to Brendan Docks. But Edward wasn't fast, Lexi. I can't do it while she was out. Lexi! Stop! cried Edward. <laughs> Lexi. Oh, Edward! says Lexi. Well, ah, I can't stop, screamed Lexi. I can't stop. The cameras were cut. They had to try and secure Lexi. Oh. Edward! Yo, what's up? And Ed, Edward just puffed away. <laughs> but later on, Sir Handel would see what happened. I'll, I'll be right. Sir, Sir, Sir Handel puffed away. Awesome. He would not be able to hear him. the shock and the sight he would see. A few coins were dropped in by Thomas fans, but Sir Handel kept on puffing and puffing with those coins. I'll do like to your sass. Eventually, Sir Handel puffed off. He wasn't very fast because the coins were very heavy. But he puffed up the hill. And then, as he puffed up, he saw Lexi. Ah, Lexi, who did this to you? It was Edward. I will get Harvey and Jerome at once. Sir Handel puffed up the hill. Sir Handel was not very happy with Edward. In fact, he was upset that Edward would do such a thing. But, Edward, saw how but, but, Ed, but Ed, Edward just kept quiet. He didn't want anyone to find him. So he kept quiet. I saw how so that Eventually, Sir Handel took the way to find Harvey so then Harvey could go and get to the room. Sir Handel was a different type of anything to the others, and only Freddy and Thomas were the same. Sir Handel eventually, but he couldn't find Harvey. Harvey? He puffed away. He was looking for Harvey all over. Eventually he stopped. His driver called for Harvey to come to the crossing at once. But, where was Harvey? No. So, so he saw Howard, sat horse. But where was Harvey? Eventually Harvey and Jerome puffed to the location. Harvey 
Tough the win. Okay, so is this Lexi? Yes, said Sir Handel. She's very hurt thanks to Edward. Edward of all engines, said Harvey. Yes, I was very surprised. I, I, didn't, I didn't think that Edward would do such a thing. I know, right? Said Harvey. It's such a shock. See your table after. Eventually, Jerome and Harvey puffed away. They found, they found Lexi, and in no time, Lexi is back on the tracks. Good as new. Took a while, and it was a very dangerous procedure, but Lexi was eventually back on. Thank you, thank you so much, Harvey, said Lexi. Of course, it's fine, said Harvey. When Gordon heard about the news, he was very smug. Back at the steamworks. <laughs> Silly engine. <laughs>